feeling great. You know, I'm very excited, very motivated. You know, uh, this might gonna be my first title defense, and um, I can't change nothing. You know, I gotta, I gotta stay focused. And this this spider is good. It's coming after me. It takes something that I worked so hard to get, so much dedication I put in that to get that belt. And I don't plan on leaving anytime soon. So I'm working extra hard to keep this belt. What do you feel is feels different from fighting at the Olympics versus a pro pro fight? It's way more exciting as a professional. You know, I guess a little. You know, it got you up and downs. You know, it's uh, better to make weight. It's better uh, that I know who I'm fighting. As an amateur, you never know who you're going up against. But, you know, I'm grateful for the time I did as an amateur. I think the amateur career has helped me a lot now as a professional. Uh, one thing that the amateurs taught me is to always train for different styles. Not always depend on one style. So that's helped me a lot as a professional. For you, you know, you're going to be fighting Osawa. Does that help you out? You were talking about ch changing your training. Have you change your training style for this upcoming fight? The training method has always been the same. Work your hard, work your hard. The only thing we train is um, uh, strategy. Strategies for each different fighter. And this fighter, you know, he's, a, he's an awkward fighter, tall fight, taller fighter than me, so I'm, I'm guessing he's gonna try to use that reach on me. So we always work on different styles. You know, we've been sparring fighters that are taller than me, that put that pressure. So um, we're gonna be ready. We're gonna be ready, especially 100% ready for Osawa. I'm gonna give it my best, like I said, to maintain that belt with me. Were you studying him and like watching a different his different fights on tape or video and and seeing what the strengths? You know, you mentioned some of the strengths, but are there any really particular that you have to for you have to really watch out for? He's a I've seen him fight before. Like I said, he's a one thing that Japanese fighters have in common is they all got heart. You know, you can hit them with everything. They're gonna keep on coming forward. They're gonna, uh, you know, I've seen a lot of these Japanese fighters with the same mentality. Just come forward and give it, with, give it their best. Um, so that's just not motivation. I gotta work hard for this guy. You know, like, I can't expect to, uh, to try to knock him out in the first rounds because if, uh, if I don't knock, knock him out, he's gonna come at him in the later rounds. So you know, I always gotta be concentrated for the, each fighter, each fighter, especially this guy. Um, like I said, he's, he's a taller fighter. I know he's gonna try to use that reach on me. So I'm gonna try to um, you know, work on the body, uh, finish on top, you know, there's always a lot of things you can work on these fighters. You're talking about heart when it comes to Japanese boxers, and I'm sure you have a lot of heart. When, you, when there's that point you're on you're on the mat and you are you feel like, oh crap, I might be putting myself into a corner, what drives you to like get out of that corner? Um, one thing that motivates me a lot, it's helped me a lot, every time I have a mic, it's my family. You know, I know that if I keep on winning as a professional, I'm gonna get better, better, I'm gonna get better opportunities for my family. So that was always in my mind. That always motivates me. Um, I'm grateful to God that I have a family and that, that, that's a big motivation for me. That's like I said, me winning is gonna give my better life. So I gotta keep on winning. That's my main my main mentality. And you're you're on you're gonna be in a card with with these two big Filipino boxers, of course, you know, the Manny Pacquiao and Nonita Donate. Uh, how does it feel to be on a card like that? You know, some like an epic card like that. One of the greatest, some of the greatest fighters. Nothing but motivation. I mean, who, what fighter out there wouldn't want to be in a card with Pacquiao or fight Pacquiao? I mean, that's right there is just a big motivation for me. You know, you're gonna see all these, all these people all over the world that are gonna be watching Pacquiao, and for them to see that, for see Pacquiao, they're gonna have to see me. So that's a big opportunity for me to, to, to show the world who Oscar Valdez is. So right there is just a big motivation. And um, I grew up seeing Nonito there. So right there is just a big, there's another motivation. And there's another motivation, me working at the same gym with Jesse Magdaleno, Hungry Lion, that's gonna do his best to beat Nonito there. So me not only as a, as a boxer, but also as a fan, I wanna see this fight. You know, it's, it's, it's just nothing but motivation. I gotta go in there and, and also, uh, hold my ground and, and show who Oscar Valdez is because I got a competition. You got Pacquiao, you got Donaire with uh, Jesse. So it's, it's just it's just nothing but motivation. Great, great. Let's get into some fun questions. When you're training and there's that food, there's that one guilty pleasure food that you like, what is it that you you want to eat be after, as soon as you're done training or whatnot? Oh man, I eat a lot. That's what I mean. I'm everywhere. A lot of my friends say, hey man, you're so skinny, but you eat a lot. Uh, 
When I'm in training camp, I eat strictly my diet. That's one thing. I've always been uh, very disciplined on my diet. Uh, it's salmon, uh, fish, uh, chicken, a lot of salads. But I always have in my mind pizza. Pizza, uh, hamburgers, obviously. Uh, I don't eat fast food, but you know, homemade burger, uh, uh, carne asada, you know, uh, you know, the tamales, you got everything. You know, especially, I always think about my grandma's food or my mother's food. And that's always in my mind, but I always got to stay disciplined. Disciplined and eat what, I, eat what I have to eat to maintain weight. And then what, what music keeps you pumped if you like, have a favorite artist or just some music in general? Um, I like music in general, you know. Uh, I like from, I listen to everything. I'm always, I'm constantly hearing music. So I always got to switch it up. When I'm making, I, I drive two hours from, my, from Lake Elsinore to, to Carson every day. So I'm always listening to music uh, when I'm in the gym. I'm listening to music. When I go back, uh, uh, traffic, I'm always listening to music. When I'm running at nights, I'm always listening to music. So um, I gotta switch it up a lot. It's, it's, it's banda, it's corridos, it's hip hop, it's rap, um, everything. I'm always listening to everything. All right. And then also, you know, I'm sure you get a lot of girls around you. What what girl will catch your eye and, and make you wanna uh, kind of like holler at her? I got a girlfriend, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just saying. You. No, I just playing. Uh, <laughs> I always say I'm joking around. Um, my type, it's uh, pretty face. Doesn't have to be. Uh, doesn't have to be uh, body wise. If it's a perfect, if it's a, it's a if, uh, if she's beautiful and 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 she has a good personality, if someone I can have a good laugh. That's my type of girl. And, um, have fun, girl. Not nothing too special. Nothing um, too uh, thick or too. I'm just. Uh, so you like it in the middle. Yeah. Like, like too girl. skinny. You know what? To be honest, I like a girl that just has a good time. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a guy that just likes to have a good time with a girl. Who makes me laugh, I'll make her laugh. And that's that's my style. Would you like a girl that can spar with you in the in the in the ring? That's that's a fun girl. Yeah, if, she, if, she, if she's done doing that, that's that's for me. That's fun. Uh, why not? I, I'll have fun with that. And then lastly, if anybody wants to follow you and see what's going on with your careers, shout out your social media. Yeah, I have uh, everything on social media. It's the same as Oscar Valdez 56. Um, the only thing I don't have is Facebook. But I have um, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Snapchat, everything on Oscar Valdez 56.